one subscriber. Okie dokie. Send me an email. Ask me what I thought about a book that raised questions between Lyme disease and multiple sclerosis. But MS and Lyme are diseases that stem from very different causes. MS is an autoimmune condition that targets myelin and disrupts communication between the brain and body. But Lyme, that happens if you've been bitten by a deer tick infected with a bacteria. I'm gonna screw this one up. But, 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 how about I just put, how about I just put this up? MS and Lyme disease can have overlapping symptoms. They can even look similar on MRI. I'm going to tell you what they have in common, but also the big differences. Hey, it's Steve. Both MS and Lyme go through similar stages when the fir condition first progresses. Those similarities are why getting a diagnosis between the two is often hard. I remember in 2004, when I was diagnosed, my neurologist, one of the first tests he did was for Lyme. Symptoms that MS and Lyme disease have in common are weakness and numbness, which I had, blurred vision, pain, which I had, brain fog, which I was just starting to develop, and the big one, inflammation of the brain and spinal cord. As you know, women are three times more likely to get MS than men. But in a cruel twist of fate, women are also twice as likely to get Lyme disease. But there's a huge difference between the two. The first one, which happens to be the biggest, is that MS has no cure. While most people with Lyme disease can recover within a few weeks with the use of antibiotics. That said, in some people, some symptoms of Lyme disease can linger for months or even longer, but they aren't the norm. The second difference, MS has, is most often diagnosed between the ages of 20 to 50. It tends to be more common among people living in the colder climates. But Lyme disease tends to be concentrated in the Northeast and New England. By the way, I was living in New Jersey when I was diagnosed with MS. Lyme disease, on the other hand, tends to affect children and adults over 40. Then there's the third, MS doesn't go away with medication. But with Lyme disease, early treatment with antibiotics can prevent it from going beyond its first stages. So, it's obvious, it's quite clear that the two diseases are as different as night and day. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video. Until the next one.